93 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Tori Cooper. Here are some stories making headlines locally. The Kern County Fire Department says someone intentionally set fire to a mobile home park in Oildale Friday morning. Officials say just before 4 a.m. they received calls for a fire in the 300 block of McCord Avenue near Roberts Lane and Chester Avenue. When a crews arrived, they found a mobile home with smoke and flames covering more than 50 percent of the structure. Nearby trailers were evacuated as crews worked to extinguish the flames. Firefighters were able to knock down the fire before it damaged any other homes and no one was injured. No other information has been released and officials say the investigation is ongoing. You can also get your own furry friend this weekend while meeting county firefighters. It's the Mutts and Fire Trucks Pet Adoption event. The adoption fees are waived for active and retired military members. You can bring your kids to check out the fire trucks and meet your very own firefighters. The event is happening today from 1 until 4 p.m. at the station off Downing Avenue. But it sounds like it's going to be a great day for some of those events. Absolutely. So let's take a look at a wind advisory that's going to go into effect for a portion of the valley that will go into effect at 2 p.m. this afternoon and last until 2 a.m. But we also have a wind advisory for our mountain passes of Dehachapi that will go into effect at 5 p.m. tonight and last until 8 tomorrow morning. So those wind speeds are really going to be picking up, especially in those overnight hours. Just something to be aware of. Want to take it easy on those roadways, both hands on the wheel and stay safe out there. Those temperatures, though, dipping mid 80 or mid 90s, I should say. Across the valley floor, 91 at the grapevine today. Over in our mountain communities, cooler there as well. Low 80s in our southern mountains of Fraser Park, mid 80s in Tehachapi, 92 up in Lake Isabella. And out in our desert cities, mid to upper 90s in most areas, reaching those triple digits in Ridgecrest. That's a look at what's making headlines at this hour. We will have another update for you later today.